Please welcome the man known as the Angel of Skid Row, Senior Lead Officer Dion Joseph. Great. It's nice to meet you, man. Dion, th this is really, really great work, what you do. What is it that inspires you to do this type of work? Well, my family was involved in outreach their entire life. They raised 41 foster children on top of their four children and three grandchildren. Uh, my mother and father fed the homeless for 10 years religiously up until the point my mom passed away. And my dad, who came up very hard when he started his own business, he reached back and hired individuals who reminded him of himself, who were discriminated against, who may have had records. And he never called them his employees, he called them his friends. So you'll never hear me call somebody in Skid Row a bum or a hobo or anything like that. I always call them my friends. Yeah. Now, I got your wife, Tasha, is in the audience right here. She's that beautiful thing right there? I see her, yeah. <laughs> he said that beautiful, yeah, I see her. <laughs> I, Tasha, how are you? Let me ask you, how do you feel about the work that your husband does? My husband, uh, this man of God, the father of my children, um, I'm inspired by him. I'm motivated by him. And so I'm so proud of him and I'm blessed to just, he's just a great guy and I love it. I'm so proud of him. Do you all volunteer together as a family? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have my kids volunteer at the mission to serve turkey during holiday dinners. And uh, also my sons help me put together hygiene kits to uh, hand out to the homeless uh, uh, whenever I can to help kind of de-incentivize the streets and guide them to services. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest misconception about people that live out there on Skid Row? People tend to vilify people who are homeless. Uh, they try to see them as bad people because they don't want them in their backyard. But the truth is, in Skid Row, there are four kinds of people like anywhere else in the United States of America. The first group are good, decent people. These are the majority of people. They're just disenfranchised. The second group are good people who do bad things. Those are your drug addicts. And then you have people who've made mistakes, but they have redemptive qualities. They may have been career criminals, but you give them an environment, they make a better decision with their life. And then the last group are career criminals who come down to prey on the above three groups. What makes it different than any other place in the United States of America is because it's so concentrated, there tends to be this constant and frequent cross-contamination of those four groups and, and, and throw in mental illness and it's a whole nother bag. Wow. Over the holidays, you held a toy drive for kids at the Union Rescue Mission. Mm -hmm. how, how, how did that go? Went fantastic. We've been doing it for four years, and the whole goal is to shed light on the plight of families and children at the mission. And every year we always come through and make sure every kid gets a toy. This year was a challenge because there are 267 kids at the Union Rescue Mission, and that's a lot. They're filled to capacity, and some of those kids weren't getting gifts. So I want to thank Rescue Run and your show for stepping up. Uh, because of that, we were able to get the rest of those kids gifts. And I'm, it's a blessing. Thank you so much. Let, let me ask you this question. What would a person need, basically, to get housing, to get out of Skid Row? First of all, they got to get clean first. Uh, I've helped house about 100, maybe 150 people in Skid Row, but that was the 150 that were ready. They were an average of 2,000 in the streets every year. You got to get people clean. You got to create an environment conducive to change. Uh, we can't be hands off and allow the drug dealers to have such a strong grip uh, on the people or the environment. And if we can do that, we can make some change, significant changes in people's lives. Yeah. Wow. Well, Dion, uh, Rescue Runs is all about teaching kids compassion for those in need. And they were happy to donate the toys to your toy drive over the holidays. We were maybe made sure of that. And for those of you that don't know, Rescue Runs are uh, adoptable plush pets that kids can rescue, groom, and love. That's what it is. Kids can clean them up, give them a home to call their own. Yeah. Uh, and then to you, Dion, you know, Rescue Runs also wants to help you keep up the good work in your community, so they're giving you a check today for $5,000. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. That'll help you out. Wow. Hey, man, listen, uh, thanks again, Dion and Tasha, and thanks again to Rescue Runts. Uh, to see all of the Rescue Runt styles and to learn about the new line of Rescue Runt babies that your kids can adopt, visit stevetv.com. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.